What's going on all you dad hustlers out there? This is Will Crown back for yet another episode of the Dad Hustle Show. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty important topic. How do I balance everything from my responsibilities to the passion that I have inside of me? There's really three simple questions that you have to ask yourself in order to be able to approach and conquer this topic. First question is, what's most important to you? We've always heard it, but it's really true. You have to prioritize. There's nothing more critical at this stage in the game than finding out what's most important to you and balancing those scales. Now, if you're like me and your responsibilities are kids and a spouse, then those are my priority. For some people, that's not the case. People don't necessarily have the kids and the spouse, but they have a live-in parent, other responsibilities. We also have our passions and the things that are driving us. And those things are super important too. Whatever it is for you that's most important, decide that right away. I will tell you this, this is dad hustle. So to me, it's always family first. Marriages do divorce, but if you have children, that's gotta be a number one priority in your life no matter what. If you don't feel that way, this is probably not the channel for you. It's cool, still love you. I've actually heard it said on multiple occasions from some high achievers that there's no such thing as balance in life. I see myself as a high producer, high production type of guy. Bottom line is, I completely disagree with this. If there was no such thing as balance, then where did the balance word come from? Obviously there is balance. Is it always a perfect balance? No, of course not. There does have to be a give and take. That's how the universe works. If I'm going to give a little bit more time to my passion, my career, professional endeavors on this side of the coin, then on this side of the coin, I'm going to be giving a little bit less and vice versa. If I've got a birthday party, a camping trip, responsibilities with my family on this side of the coin, then this one's going to suffer a little bit. So I need to really weigh out what is most important. And it's critical to do that because a lot of times we go through life without ever really deciding for ourselves what is most important to us. I want to assure you also that just because you're saying maybe your family's most important, that doesn't mean that you're completely giving up on the other one. Just the opposite. It's just giving you the freedom to say, okay, then that's going to be my number one priority and number two priority is right here. That leads me to the next point. Once you know how your priorities stack up, then you can take action on them. When I say taking action, it means you have to do something definitive. A lot of people get caught up in this planning mode where they're just planning, 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 and strategizing, strategizing, strategizing what they're going to do, but they never actually do what they say they're going to do. I am a firm believer of ready, fire, aim. I'm going to plan to the best of my ability, but no matter what, first things first, I'm going to take some action. Once I take action, the plans often come into place. And if you're anything like me, if you're waiting around until the plan is perfected, oftentimes things won't get done. We got to make sure we get moving. So if that means that once you determine, hey, my daughter is most important to me no matter what, their priority numero uno, then when they have that school play that you know means the world to them, you're going to find a way to be there even if it means rescheduling business appointment. I've had super high achievers tell me, well, the kids can wait for a decade and then once I have all this success, I'll be able to spend all the time that I want with them. Mm -mm. Actually, can you, can you hold on one second? I just, I need to make a call really quick. It's kind of important. Oh, who am I dying? Oh. I'm calling BS on that. Studies show that spending too much time at work while the children were young is the parents' biggest regret. Could you see that? Did I get it close enough? That was published on DailyMail.com in 2012. Do you really think it changed that much? Trust me, I have two, and I'm jokingly badgering my wife to say we need to have another just so I can spend actual time with them. Because when these two were little, I took it for granted. Don't make the same mistake I did. Okay, Will, well that all sounds well and good. I agree with you, my number one priority is my children and my family. I still wanna have a multiple seven figure business. I still wanna be an award winning actor. I still wanna be a Grammy winning musician or model catwalk specialist. I don't know. Perfect, you're in the right place because that's exactly what this channel is all about. I'm the same way, dude. I'm in the same exact boat. I have my family, that's number one, but I still want to be all these things. I want to make sure I'm making a difference. I really feel like I'm destined for something greater out there. So how do we do that? That leads me to number three. The question is, when can I find time for my hustle? I'll give you a prime example. My kids are home from school right now, and my son was telling me the other day about the relationship that he has with his best friend. Him and Charles are like this, man, peas and carrots. There's nothing that comes between those guys. And I started feeling a little bad because he hasn't seen Charles all summer vacation so far. And I thought to myself, though he doesn't know it yet, time apart can actually create a rift. And, and I've seen it before when I was a kid that you go back 
brand new school year, you think things are just like they were, but that kid might have moved on, and maybe you guys aren't quite as compatible as you were when you left school. Anyhow, we set it up. Yesterday, we all go to the beach. Granted, there are tons of things that I could be doing for my career, but number one priority for me is my family. So what did I do? Yesterday, we took the day, we went to the beach. I wanna throw up a little picture of my son and his best friend just chilling there on the beach. Really getting in some bro time. Okay, well, you still haven't addressed the question. When do I squeeze in my hustle? Whenever the heck you can. I was exhausted. I was in the water with my daughter all day long and getting sunburned. Check this out. Yikes. Burns. The day was winding down. It was 8.30 at night. I call up a Starbucks. Boop, boop, boop. They're open until 11.30. I'm going to go to Starbucks and write. I was tired. I was literally wiping sleepies out of my eyes. But I went there, went to Starbucks, got a venti over-roasted coffee for $2.65 and worked on screenplays for about two and a half hours. I hope this helps some of you guys. This is a talk that I wish somebody would have given me 10 years ago. I wanna know if this resonates with you, if it really makes a difference for you guys. But please connect anyone you know of to this. I am on a mission to impact a whole generation of fathers out there, and I need your help to do it. As always, my name is Will Crown, and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, dads. You can't stop me! Oh, that's all you got.